Road State College changes lives, builds futures, and improves communities through lifelong learning. My name is Dr. Cynthia Spears. I am the president at Road State College. Road State, really, uh, in Lyman Tech, has served the community for over 49 years. Um, in 1971, Lyman Technical College was formed in Ohio to bring a vision for technical training to the college and to this location. I have been here through a lot of changes with the college and it's actually been amazing. Uh, we now offer over 92 degrees and certificates um, here at Rhodes State. We have expanded our reach beyond Allen County to over 16 counties in Ohio and students from several states. I have witnessed firsthand how the college has changed the lives of students and help them to build futures for our students. It has enabled them to gain a sense of accomplishment, enabled them to find satisfying careers. As a professional, I put my heart and soul into this institution. I have worked in multiple roles to make this an institution of excellence, and I'm very proud to be part of this community, a community in which we can work together to collaborate, research, and innovate in multiple ways. We are excited about our effort to revitalize downtown Lima with our new facility. The new facility incorporates different structure from throughout that area of the uh, Lima block, such as Civic Center, some of the banks. That is an excellent location because it was the original center of commerce in downtown Lima. It is a futuristic looking facility demonstrating the health technologies and the advancement that has been made in health sciences over the past five years. It will be an exciting look from the outside and it will go into through a fly-through on the inside of the facilities with a monumental staircase where students can sit and study. We have a multi-taction screen which is really a, a way to incorporate um, all different allied health, nursing, and medical uh, individuals in analyzing a case and communicating to each other even though that they may all be remote. My name is Angela Heaton and I'd like to talk to you about the first floor of the new Center for Health Science and Education and Innovation. The first room is called the Interactive Video Wall and it will contain nine panel interactive video screen. The iWall will encourage students to interact, engage in critical thinking, and be guided through competency-based learning experiences. The Anatomage table is the world's first virtual dissection table. It's the most technologically advanced 3D anatomy visualization system for anatomy education. The Solo Step is an overhead track and harness system designed to protect patients from falling during the rehabilitation process while giving them the confidence they need to progress with rehab. The PTA-OTA apartment is critical for training PTA and OTA students in activities of daily living. The OTA lab will be equipped with a 3D printer. The 3D printing technology can provide clients with assistive devices that can increase their independence at a faster rate. The ambulance simulator can provide students with experiencing training scenarios as close to real life as possible. The doors are removed and features a cutout behind the bench seat to facilitate an external view. The Amato can also be equipped with pneumatics to simulate road conditions. My name is Dr. Eric Mason and I'm going to be talking to you about the second floor of our Health Science and Innovation Building. The first thing I would like to talk about is the simulation area. The simulation will have four suites and those four suites will contain a high fidelity simulators that will provide our students with a realistic environment for them to learn activities that they don't necessarily get in the hospitals at this time. We're going to have a medical surgical suite, we'll also have an obstetrical suite, and we will have a surgical suite as well as an emergency and ICU suite. Those suites will have high fidelity simulators. Those simulators will provide our students with a high level of, of simulation that will allow our students to learn in an environment that is very realistic as well as the environment of our simulation lab. Our nursing lab is designed at a 12 open bed lab. It will have four private exam rooms. The next lab is the respiratory lab on the second floor. It will have individual computers at each bed. It will also provide the students with that capability of doing real-time charting, as well as looking up the information necessary to provide care to a respiratory event. Once the health programs move to the new center downtown, we will repurpose the vacated space on campus. 
The repurposed space will expand opportunities to address in-demand business and industry needs and career opportunities for students. It is highly satisfying to be part of this community and really important and exciting that we will be part of the revitalization of downtown Lima with our new facility. And we are thankful for all of your support.